Packet Tracer is a network simulator tool that Cisco developed for Network Academy students to have hands-on access to iOS devices. When I say iOS, I mean inter-network operating system. That's the operating system that Cisco develops, not the one that runs Apple's devices. So Packet Tracer is a really cool tool. I like to use it because it's really quick access for something I want to study quickly without having access to a image of iOS or actual hardware. Please don't get me wrong. That hardware is critical to have because in the industry, really, that's what you're going to be interacting with when you're doing your job. But to understand the concept, Packet Tracer is a perfect tool. So let's look at some of the features here. I'm not going to cover every single button because some of these features we'll just use dynamically. I'm just going to show you some of the core functionality that you need to know uh, just coming into using Packet Tracer for the first time. So the first thing you'll notice is we've got our selector tool. So you'll see here it's a selector and we can highlight things and, you know, move around without worrying about deleting things, right? Um, we are, this canvas here in the white space is logical mode or logical topology, right? And we can switch between logical and physical. Physical is like we can build out cities in our physical topology. We won't do a whole lot of that in this course, but I can make some video series on using the physical topology. The logical topology is going to allow us to add devices into the into the diagram. So um, we're in logical mode, but we're also in that real time mode as well. That means anything we do happens right away. So all the events just happen in real time. Flip over to simulation mode and you'll see that this allows us to actually take a deeper look at the protocols in operation over the network. So when we like initiate a action like ping or even just powering a device up, we can see all the protocols and traffic that get, gets generated and also dive into that packet and see exactly how that protocol works. It's really cool. It's kind of uh, working to simulate a you know, a packet analyzer or a packet capture tool like Wireshark. So that's cool. Real time, notice how it automatically moves that, you know, simulation tab out of the way. In the bottom left hand corner, you're going to notice these are our devices, right? So on the top row here is your categories. So when you click network devices, that opens up a category of devices that are networking devices. So routers, switches, you know, hubs, wireless devices, security devices like firewalls, WAN emulation, WAN meaning your connection to the internet. So we could actually simulate DSL and cable modems, which is like something someone would have in their house that connects them to their ISP. So yeah, this is a really cool functionality. One of my favorite functions of Packet Tracer actually is the fast forward time functionality. Have you ever seen the movie Click with Adam Sandler? Well, in this movie, uh, Adam Sandler stumbles upon this remote that allows him to fast forward to the most significant moments of, in his life and kind of go past all the things that he doesn't see as, as you know, important. You know, and, and without spoiling it, just know that, you know, that remote ends up not being such a good thing. But in Packet Tracer, it's a great thing because we don't have to worry. Uh, over time, as we get into the more advanced concepts, we will fast forward through like convergence, which means the network and all the protocols have established their connectivity. We can fast forward to that moment because sometimes like in booting up devices in the real world, it can take a little while and you're kind of like <laughs> looking at your watch or your phone like, uh, any day now, right? So in this, we can fast forward time because it is, it is designed to be a learning tool, right? So it's really cool. Um, let me just show you a little bit. Follow along as I do this. Just some, the way Packet Tracer works. You click your device, you paste it in there, right? And it drops it in the topology. You get a, you know, a switch. It does the same thing. And if, let's say you, you don't want a device or you're trying to remove a device to simulate like a failover, you could grab the delete tool and delete it or you could just do a mass delete sometimes too um cool another cool thing just to save time as we do this is if we have multiple devices in a scenario we can copy and paste so control c control v right cool right so really cool stuff. Um, when we dive into the actual device itself we can see it has different tabs like and this is different based on the device you're in. So like there's a physical tab which allows you to power the device off and on, right? We can change out 
what type of nick it has. Look, the config tab we're not going to use a lot. That's kind of like simulating a, a, the GUI. So when we're on a Cisco device, I want you to be a command line wizard. I don't want you to have to be a GUI baby, right? I do know you, you do need to know it exists, but I want you to know that we're going to do most of our Cisco device configuration from command line, right? Desktop, this is like simulating, you know, an operating system. Now, this is not Windows. If they had to run Windows per device, that would be a lot of resources on your computer, like RAM taken up to run that and, and CPU and all of it, hard drive space. So they just have a bare bones operating system running on these PCs, right? And you'll learn about a lot of this as we go. So really cool. Um, we can, you know, it's auto select a, a bunch of devices and delete at once, right? You can also save those topologies. So if I had like a really great topology, I'm like, man, this is cool. I want to show it to a friend. Or even if you have a topology you're having a problem with, you can email it to me and I'll look at it. Um, and at, in due time, I will, and I'll message you about it and say, hey, you got this and that. I usually won't fix it for you because that's not going to be good for your learning experience. So in this next phase, we're going to go ahead and build a network using Packet Tracer.